Yeah. Hey, so today we're gonna be doing the rear mount. It'll be a special day, third and final mount. Okay. When they race these, you're thinking wheel, wheel arch wide. Yeah. I reckon so as well. Yeah. Get that GR Yaris look. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hunter doesn't really need inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're the one that needs inspiration, Doug. Yeah, we'll do that. It's finally in the air. There's that rear mount. These are the mounts. We will, we will mount you. He's got a split a bit of spinning around. Can't take his lace. Swinging his dong all over the place. Kicking my velcros all over his face. <laughs> right, cool, we mounting. Yeah. That's a steering bracket, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Might, might need to bash this in a little bit. Yeah. Cut, off, cut off that corner. What do you reckon, Hams? What? You might need to cut a little bit more out of that just to give it some clearance. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, right there. I mean, we didn't have a clue what we were doing at the time. We were just... Just trial and error, innit? Trial and error. Yeah. I think that gap needed to be a bit wider, didn't it? Like, yeah. kind of like here. But that's, that's easy to do from this point. You just cut it and just put seam sealer over it and pretend it's all good. <laughs> so the problem we're having here is that Starlet's, oh my God, I can't get my hand around. Starlet's uh, mount or bracket that goes in the body goes too far towards the gearbox. And the side that has the gearbox mount side actually goes into the, uh, is a bit more to the other, to the side of it, like over here. We can't actually have to think of a way to get that rear mount to fit. And the problem is, is we can't mount it to anything over here because the, the drive shaft will be in the way. Maybe. I can't remember what you got these studs This bit here, like we can't mount it to something like here because the drive shaft will be running from there, through there. So I was thinking, I kind of need... kind of need like a piece of metal that comes down and then towards <laughs> this. I was thinking... Loads of hands up here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think, that, if, if we use this bit of metal, we can utilise this mount because that fits perfect. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. See? Look, Hans, come around here. So that's there, it doesn't... It's still in line with the lowest point of the engine and gearbox. Yeah. What I'm thinking is getting a bit of metal that we can put bolt here and here and make it go into here. Do you get me? Yeah. Can do. That'll be pretty big though. We can do. What, so you think it's best to get it to bolt? Here and here. Into where they're just in a straight line. Because that goes into the gearbox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we undo that. We put a bit of, like, a bit like thick plate. Where's your plate, Matt? Come on, get thicker than that. She thick. Boom. Yeah, see. We can have one bit, bit go through here. We can even cut little slots to make them go in here if you like. And then have another thick piece go into that with a couple of bolts that go through there. Can we get the angle right so it'll be solid then, won't it? The only movement will be on that bush. Yeah, do you think that's the best method? Or the easy, well, we well, don't well, say I'm easy. Looking, but... I'm looking around there. And we can't use the original one because there's body, steering rack, and all sorts of yeah, there's... brake parts and fuel yeah. parts. So I, don't, I really don't think that's an option of doing anything here. Whereas the space is here, 
but like I say, it has to go either above or below the drive shaft. Yeah. And I think, I think it would be better being straight rather than going up. I think it should be stronger, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm happy with that, bro. As long as it works, I'm happy with it. But look at it from this angle. Can you see any? Just piece there. of metal there to, to this, like that. But I don't think that would be you very strong. Bolt, but the only thing is, we, we can't bolt anything flat to that because it's broken. Yeah. We can only bolt there and there. And is that, that sideways angle, belt? I think it's likely to... Sorry? It's a seat belt. Snap <laughs> time. Yeah. Whereas if it's in a straight line, I think it'll be stronger. It'll be stronger, yeah. Because the movement of the engine is, is back and forth, isn't it? Mm. So yeah, well, I'm sure we could just weld a bit of plate across those two. Yeah. And I'm happy to do that. But I don't think it'd be very strong. You don't want to snap this next piece off. Because if I don't feel that behind there, it's, it's quite thin and you've got to bear in mind, like if you get, get right, your fingers behind it like that, yeah. it's hollowed out and you've got to bear in mind. Oh yeah. But that's where the mount was for the, for yeah, the original. spread across three bolts. True. But think, think about it being like that, it's going to want to go that way, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And it's going to want to tilt and yeah whereas if it goes straight down if it goes f bolts just going through there there's nothing to break because it's just a yeah a bolt going through it anyway okay yeah we can do that but if we ever undo the uh, the gearbox we'll have to undo this rear mount it's the same with any gearbox okay well if that's the case let's do it i just think it will last a bit longer I like how you say it will last a little bit, like a bit longer. Not that it will last, like nothing's gonna last forever. Well, not forever, but you know what I mean. I mean a long while. Now, but I don't think this is that strong. No, this isn't you very. Can do chin ups off it, but yeah, not else, nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> and plus, you'll have to have a lot more weight involved. I'm gonna keep that weight central and back. Yeah. No, but we'll have to cut it and weld it. Grinding disc. You've got a cutting disc, haven't you? Yeah, I've got all sorts. Uh, that's a metal cutting disc. Grinding. No. I just read what was on it. I just read what. Cutting disc. I just read. I just read what's on it, and yeah, I bought it. It is, but it's not. I read. For me to cut that thick, it might. That's a bit better. Yeah. Well, they do different. I just bought, that's from Unity. Yeah, they didn't realize they did so many different types. I thought all cutting discs were thin, grinding discs were thick. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Wait, mate. I've never done this before, too. by the way. I've never done it before. It's all right. Is, is, the thing is, you'll be doing this again in the future. It's practice. I've some prices up. <laughs> Right, let's locate some PPE around here. Well, knowing that you're you and Mike are Mr. Safety. Safety first. Last shot there, when it's 
the same subway. Yeah. Never again, mate. It's definitely a bit cheaper in there. <laughs> I was just like, I nearly had a meltdown and just said, what's that? I'm just going to go break something out. You're running out. Yeah. I've been there for like five years and I said, I don't want to make the same subway melt. And then uh, they were like, okay. And then just walked off into the next one. Came out and said, like, hello, how can I help? And I was just like, oh, well, I just want a six inch subway melt. And then uh, she was like, yeah, no worries. And then he came back out and then he was just like, steak. And I was just like, no, I want a subway melt. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with him? And then, uh, like... and then she was asked a question. I was like, look, I'm really confused. I don't know what's going on, but I just want a subway melt. Six inch sub. And I was like, does it come, can you get a six inch sub on the mill deal? I was just like, yeah, well, I want a cookie and drink as well. And she said, yeah, that's fine. She's like, the menu's changed a bit, so. And I was like, cool. I was just like, I want a subway melt. That subway melt was five years ago. Yeah. And then the That's most to make it. Definitely not mine. And then I said, I'll, um... And then he said, do you want to taste it? And I was like, yeah, it's not a melt unless you taste it. Yeah. And then, um... <laughs> <laughs> he was like, uh, I'll do any salad or anything. I said, yeah, can I get some lettuce, some red onion, and some gherkins? Yeah. And he just picks up jalapenos. And, I, and then he was like, sauce? And I was just like, yeah, can I get some... I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I was like, I don't want jalapenos. I want gherkins. And then, so he just takes all these jalapenos off of the meat in my thing, cross contaminates it back in the pot. Oh. But don't worry, he's wearing gloves. And then, and then he picks up some gherkins, put it in it, and I was just thinking at this point, I'm going to get AIDS. <laughs> Last time I had Subway, I had flu for a week, so. You know what my immune system's like? Yeah. Your immune system is like oh, uh, second, Mount Rushmore. Second to God. Second to God. <laughs> right. I, th I think this is, this can go back up, right? I think we've got everything. 